Hello and welcome to this tutorial. I will show you how you can set up a simple traffic system in this tutorial. So, first of all, I will show you the um, AI version of the vehicle template from the last tutorial. Um, and I have to say, you, just to be sure that the throttle input is not 1, it is 0 0.5, because the reason for that. When you leave it to 1, it is all, um, drive always on full speed. So when you drive around a corner, it will <laughs> just drift. So I it could imagine you don't want that. Because, yeah, it looks pretty stupid. Okay. Um, so the good thing is when you take this one here and put it to the variable, let's call it speed, and make it global then you are able to control the... where it is? here. You can set the speed whenever you want. So, but yeah, I would recommend it to leave it to 0 0.5. Okay, anyway, I have set up a little scene for traffic. So, um, if you want to know how I get these streets, I put the link in the description that is free content from Epic Games itself. So you can just download it and use it like me. Okay, um, what we want to do now. For a little traffic tutorial, we want that the car drive from this corner up to this corner and the player drives from this corner to this corner and so these um, the target is that the AI car sees the player and just stops. So let's start pretty simple. So we want that the car is able to stop when we want. So we need the new function. Let's call it just stop. And this function will be set the throttle input from the vehicle movement and yeah you can just leave it to zero because yeah we want that the car is stopping so and we want also that set handbrake input so it just to the handbrake version so then it don't move anymore so put that inside here and then we can take the handbrake and promote to a variable just call it stand and so yeah that's pretty it so save that so the car is now able to stop when we want just we call the stop function so we need a um, reason to stopping so let's say here's a stop sign just imagine then we need a um, blueprint clause it will be an actor and just call it stop whatever you want just open and this one need a um, collision object so let's say that will be um, a box and yeah so this box here will be the sign for stopping so what we need now is a function to call that the um, that the car hit this actor, so we can take the event actor begin overlap. That's pretty good, and then we say cars to AI car run in my case, and we call just call the stop function that we already created. Go for here and connect that. Yeah, and that's it. When we save that and put the stop inside here. Oh, it's a little bit small. Okay, let's fix that. So just go back to the viewport and then we can just scale this a little bit. So, yeah, looks a little bit better. Okay, be sure that the stop sign is in the path from the car and then we can 
click play and take a look on the progress. So drive the road, hit the collision and then stops. Great, okay. So what we want to do is that the car is just stopping and after a few seconds continue driving. So we have to take the stop sign, move it a little bit back, then the cars stop right here. And what we need now is that we remove that and we say sequence course it has to stop and after that let's say re-triggable delay to three seconds and then after the three seconds we want that the cars continue driving so set throttle input connect it to here set this back to the 0.5 compile, save and when we now click play we can see the car is driving to the point that we set, hit the stop actor, stops, wait for a few seconds and then continue driving. Great, um, so what we want to do now is that when the car drives its path and stop here, it also recognizes the player because, yeah, it will just stop, but when the player is um, hit the path, it will not stop, it just crash into the player, so we all don't want that. Um, so we have to be sure that the car is able to see the player. So we go to back to the AI car, go to viewport, so we have to add the porn sensing and if you hit compile you can see that it has some hearing radius, sight radius and yeah. So it didn't make sense that the car can hear anything so we can uncheck this, put this to zero, this to zero, sight radius will be 1500, it's okay. So we can this also to zero. Let's say the angle will be 30 so it can see the car in the front. So let's go to on C porn. Take that up here. And now it's pretty similar to the stop sign. So we say cars to sit on. Put that side here and then we say sequence so it should be stop and after that we call a retrail go delay to three seconds and after this three seconds we say set throttle input and what we can do now, we can take the speed, put it inside here, so that it's already set to ever what we want. Yeah, okay, let's compile, save that, and then we will remove the stop sign to be sure that the car stop for the reason of the player, not of the stop sign. And when we hit play, drive in the way of the car, see what it does. So it drives through us, stops and when we drive back it will continue. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and if you have any questions please let me know and yeah, goodbye.